If I were to design a graphic for turning plastic into blue jean dye, here's what I'd do. First, let's talk about the problem. Blue jeans are everywhere, but most people don't realize how bad they are for the environment. The dye used to make that classic indigo color is usually synthetic, made from petroleum, and involves a bunch of harsh chemicals. It also takes a ton of water to produce and wash out, and in a lot of factories, that wastewater goes straight into rivers without being treated. So we've got this iconic piece of clothing that looks cool, but behind the scenes, it's creating pollution on both ends, chemicals in and chemicals out. Now imagine if we could flip that. What if we could take one pollutant, like plastic, and turn it into another part of the process, like dye? That idea is what inspired this graphic. I started with plastic bottles because that's the core of the problem. They're everywhere, they last forever, and they're a major symbol of waste. I didn't want them as just the background. I wanted them to feel central. Then I thought about water. Making denim uses a crazy amount of it, and plastic waste often ends up floating in it. So I placed the entire scene in water. I didn't want this to look like a technical diagram or a product ad. I wanted it to feel quiet and human. That's why I added the three people. They're working, not posing. They're shaping something from what's been discarded. That's what stuck with me, the idea of rebuilding, not just recycling. At the center is a single pair of jeans. It's not flashy, but that's the whole point. It's about showing what's possible when you treat waste as a starting point, not an afterthought. I titled it Re-Engineering Waste because that's what the whole concept is, taking something broken and turning it into something new. The subtitle, Turning Plastic Pollution into Indigo Blue, ties it back to the core idea. It's about dye, yes, but it's also about changing the way we think about materials, labor, and value. I would also like to thank Dr. Travis Williams and the Wrigley Institute for making this all possible.